According to Fabrizio della Morte's information, we found out that the Italians made a deal with the Russian Mafia. This is how the events transpired. The Russians drove to a park place 50 miles from here near Walmart. The car they drove in was a black SUV, the manufacturer is unknown. The Italians came late and it is believed that they drove a dark Audi A6. We traced the license plate of the Audi A6 and found out that it is registered to the name Giacomo. It is believed that it was in fact the Italian mobster boss Antonio Giacomo. It is there that they made the exchange of goods. The Italians bought a large amount of cocaine and the transaction went without complication. It was here that we believe that the Giacomo family was betrayed from the inside. Families have a no drug policy and it seems that the Giacomos disobeyed that rule. Everything went downhill from this point on. A few days after the transaction, Giacomo's mobster spotted Antonio's wife with a member of the family, namely Luca Donati. They waited outside of the apartment to confirm their suspicions. But according to Fabrizio's testimony, they were spotted by Luca Donati, who alarmed Antonio's wife. We suspect that it was here that the story began to unravel, leading to Giacomo family's ultimate demise. After the report from his mobsters, Antonio ordered a hit on Luca Donati, and because this was personal, he himself wanted to pull the trigger on Luca. This, however, was his biggest mistake. What his wife told him when he questioned her was already carefully pre-planned. The rage and sorrow he felt made him slip, which led him into an ambush. The predator became the prey. We know all this. But we can't go further without a body. We have no information what happened next, but experience from previous cases involving mob hits, we assume this is how it went down. Antonio Giacomo betrayed the Italian Mafia's pledge not to get involved with narcotics. Another family planted a double agent into the family, this was Luca Donati. Taking out a Mafia boss is a difficult decision to make, so they needed to plan it carefully we believe Luca seized the opportunity when he was having an affair with Gianna Giacomo and used Antonio's personality against him. Knowing he would fall in rage and deploy his men against him, he told Gianna to mislead Antonio when he would ask for his location. When he arrived with his men, it was already too late. Luca and the men he worked for were already waiting. 74th Clarence Road was his final stand. We couldn't find his body, it is probably buried somewhere in the woods outside the city and without the body we can't make the connection and therefore lack evidence. He never was a friend of justice, ironically in the end justice wasn't a friend of his, 
leading to a fitting end for one of the most notorious gangsters of our time.